Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Cute and Crafty and I am back with another Christmas in July video. This is number four in my series. I have three pieces I'd like to share with you today. They're really quick and easy. So let's just jump right in. I'm going to be using my Apple Barrel Matte White Paint. I've got nine tumbling tower blocks using my jot glue stick, my whittling tool from Dollar Tree. Also going to be using three of these love signs from the Dollar Tree, one of the red sailboat shore living signs from Dollar Tree, and one of the calendar pages from a Dollar Tree 2023 calendar. We are going to be using the Seasons Greetings red truck and also that piece of cardboard that comes in the calendar page. We're going to use that. I use my little Cricut um, straight edge cutter to cut this into three pieces and also cut that cardboard as well. It is not three even pieces. As you can see, my middle piece is a little thinner. You can definitely cut yours evenly, but this is how mine came out. I could have measured better, but it's okay. It's okay. This one is actually my favorite of the three that I'm going to show you. It is beautiful and simple and I love it. So using that jot glue stick, I got my calendar page glued to the cardboard and now I'm taking my tumbling tower blocks and I'm going to hot glue those to the cardboard just to give this piece a little lift and dimension, which I love to do. You guys, thank you so much for stopping by and joining me for this video today. I'm so blessed and happy to have you here. I'm going to start out by taking off this greenery. I don't need it right now, but I will revisit it. Don't throw it away. We're going to use it. And it's got a lot of glue on the sign, so I'm picking that away as well. And then sanding everything down, making it nice and smooth, because I am going to paint the back of this sign. Once I'm all done, I'm going to paint it black. I'm not going to cover it in the uh, craft paper. I'm just going to paint it black to make it nice and neat. So I'm pulling off my sticker from this middle sign. I've already taken the stickers off the other two. I'm just going to do a pencil line straight down the middle of the sign and take my whittling tool and carve that out. I want it to look like shiplap. So we're going to carve that out and make a nice divot down the middle of that sign. And I did it to the other two as well. You can use a pencil to just draw it down and smudge it with your fingers, but I love actually physically cutting it down in there. It makes it look more like wood to me, and I like it. So that's why I do it. Doing a little bit of cleanup after I sanded it down. Going to take my three pieces, just lining them up and looking at it, making sure it's what I want. I took this red sailboat sign from Dollar Tree and cut two pieces off of it just to give myself um, a little bit of a decorative touch. I wanted that red to pop. You definitely don't have to use this red sign. You could use anything and paint it red, but I had it, so why not? So I flipped my sign over and I'm using some jumbo craft sticks and hot glue to get my sign put together. Now I'm going in with that Apple Barrel Matte White Paint and I'm going to give this sign a rough coat. doesn't have to be neat because I'm going to distress it anyway. I'm going to use my Gator Sander to rough it up a little bit. If your hands don't allow for you to do all that sanding, because mine are getting to the point where I probably shouldn't be doing all that sanding because sometimes, you know, arthritis kicks in. But if your hands don't allow you to do all of that sanding, just take a baby wipe and wipe that paint off in the spots that you want it to look distressed. It will do the same thing. Right now, I just love sanding. I'm going to keep doing it as long as I can. I do have an electric sander. Sometimes I will take my project to um, the garage and I will use that on it. I have a, a hand sander, but if I can just do a little bit in my craft room, then I will. So we're just going to get it all scratched up. And then I'm going to take some wood glue and some hot glue and lay down those red pieces a little bit from the bottom. I think I left about, I don't know, an inch at the bottom and an inch at the top. I just like the look of it. And I'm going to add some staples for good measure just to make sure the red pieces stay down. 
And now I'm going to take my little cardboard pieces, add some hot glue to the tumbling tower block in the middle, or actually wood glue to the tumbling tower block in the middle, hot glue to the tumbling tower blocks at the top and the bottom. I'm going to place my middle piece first because I feel like if I get that one placed first, it will be easy to line up the other two pieces on either side. I just love how this pops. This is really pretty to me and so simple and easy to do. And if you want to make it more sturdy, go ahead and use some MDF board instead of the cardboard underneath your calendar paper. That will really make it sturdy. So I went back and I got some pieces of that greenery from the wreath we took off of the signs. And I got into my stash and grabbed some red pit berries. And I'm just going to make a little a little bundle, a little swag to go at the top of the sign to cover up the hole that's in the calendar paper. After I do that and get the back painted, I'm going to add a jute cord so that we can hang this up and she's ready to be displayed. Definitely, definitely my favorite of the three. You guys, as always, comment down below. Let me know which one's your favorite of the three that I'm bringing you today. I would love to hear from you. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm so happy you're here. If you've not subscribed yet, please consider doing so. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so you never miss out on another cute and crafty DIY with D. To my subscribers that have been with me from the beginning, big hugs. I love you guys so much. Thank you for always coming back. Just fussing around with this swag, trimming it down, and then I'll trim off that extra jute cord, and then we can go to the glamour shot <laughs> and see how it turned out. And here it is, DIY number one. I don't know if I'm going to keep this one or I'm going to give it away. I'm not sure, but I do know that I really, really like it. Moving on to DIY number two, I've got my Waverly Antique Wax. I'm still using my white matte paint by Apple Barrel. I have a beautiful greenery pick from my stash, a gold star from my stash, two tumbling tower blocks, and this wood plank from Dollar Tree. I'm going to start out by giving it a coat of white paint, and it's rough. I want this to be rustic. I don't ever really do anything that is 100% like nice and neat and not rustic. I, it's just my thing. I love it. So if you like rustic decor, farmhouse decor, anything that's distressed and weather, you're at the right channel. If that's not your thing, then you can switch it up to be what you want it to be. After all, this is crafting. So you craft it the way that it matches your home. I'm just giving you some inspiration. So I took my tumbling tower blocks. I cut them in half. I'm going to use three of those pieces. And I just went ahead and put on my Waverly White or Waverly White, my Waverly Antique Wax using a baby wipe. Set that aside, let it dry. And now I'm going to take my greenery and this is frosted. I love how this looks. I hope I can find some this year at Joann's. It's just got a little bit of glitter on it, like that frosty white glitter. And it's really cute. It's not overdone. So I'm just going to staple that to the plank. I did the plank in that white just so that the greenery will pop off of it. And now I'm just going to add my tumbling tower blocks to make a little box for my tree to stand in. I just stapled that on and I know I'm out of the frame, you guys, but I'm just hot gluing the star to the top of the tree. I didn't know if I wanted to use that glitter star or if I was just going to use a plain wood star. But the glitter in the tree is why I ended up using that glitter star. I thought they would go well together. So then I went back in my stash and I grabbed some ribbon because I felt like it needed a little extra something. So I'm going to make a little bow and put it at the bottom of the tree.
This one is going to be a leaner. It's not going to stand on its own. If you'd like to do that, just add a tumbling tower block to the back with some wood glue. Or you can add some jute cord to the top and make it um, a piece that you can hang. But I just thought this would be cute as a leaner. So after I get my bow on, that's it. It doesn't need anything else. She's ready to be displayed. And here it is, DIY number two. Always bringing you guys something quick and easy and cute. Moving on to DIY number three and the last one in the video, I'll be using my Barn Red by Dixie Belle and my Antique Wax by Waverly. I've got some little bits and bobs of greenery picks and I have, I think, 14 craft sticks, a tumbling tower block that I cut in half and some jute cord. I think I have 14, but I probably only need 12. We'll see as, as we go. I am going to do five of the craft sticks in the Barn Red and I did seven of the craft sticks in the antique wax. So we're making a sled, a little sled that we're going to use for um, an ornament. It's just going to be an ornament on the tree. So all I did was get everything painted and then I just hot glued them together. I hot glued five of them together three in the middle being the exact same size and then, or, you know, three in the middle lining up exactly. And then one on each side, just down a little bit from the other ones, because that's what a sled looks like. That's the shape of it. And then I took one of the uh, craft sticks and I cut it down to size so that I can make sure my sled stays together by adding it to the back, just making it more sturdy, making it stronger. And I made sure that the end pieces, the ones that slide down a little bit further from the three in the middle, that that craft stick that I put on the back does not overlap onto those because we need room to put our runners or our blades, which is what I'm working on now. So I just measured it out just by eye to see how long I wanted them to be. And I glued two of the craft sticks together. I then took my little pieces of tumbling tower block. I had two and I cut them in half to make four. And I actually need two more. So I'm going to cut another one in half. But I need something for those blades to hook to. So I just cut those in half and I hot glued them to the bottom of my sleigh. Or my sled. I keep saying a sleigh. This is a sled. <laughs> so that's going to give me some surface area to glue those blades. And I'm just using hot glue to do that. Now you want to place those blades where they're sticking out a little longer in the front of your sled than they are in the back. And you're doing that because you still need to place your, I'm calling it a rudder. I know it's not a rudder. A rudder is what steers a boat, but this is going to steer the sled. So I'm not sure what that piece in the front is called, but you just want to make sure you leave yourself a little bit of room by making the craft sticks in the front of your sled a little longer so that you can place that piece there. And then I went in the back of my um, sled and I made sure I antique waxed everything because, again, it's going to be an ornament on the tree and you might be able to see that. So I just wanted it all to be the same color. There's the two extra tumbling tower blocks I told you I was going to add. And I had to add that because of that cross piece I just put on the top. It had to have something to stick to as well. So tumbling tower block it is. So now we're going to do the embellishing and I'm just going to add 
some of these little berry picks that I got from Dollar Tree. You get like these little silver balls. You get these pieces that look like bells, but they're, I don't know, little, I don't know what they are. I have no idea. They're like little pods and little seed pieces or something like that. And you get some pine cone in there. And I hope they come out with them again this year. I did not see them last year. So this is way back in my stash. So I'm just embellishing and adding those little silver pieces and adding some greenery. And I want my sled to look like the um, rope is going through that craft stick. You can't punch a hole in that, or at least I couldn't, because all it did was split. So I had to get another piece and restain it. So I'm just going to tie a knot and I'm going to hot glue that knot to the top of that craft stick. And then I'm just going to hot glue my jute cord to the back. So it looks like that knot is actually going through the craft stick, but it isn't. And now I'm just going to write the word joy. I'm going to do that in pencil. And then I'm going to go back over it in my Sharpie marker. I did do another one. It says Mary, and that one I distressed. And it's red, just like this one. But I was going to do red and white and then maybe do um, some green ones. Because, again, these are going to be ornaments on my tree. It's done. Here is finished DIY number three and the last one of the video. And I think these little sled ornaments came out so cute. I can't wait to display them on my tree. These are quick and easy to make. And these are crafts that you can make with your grandchildren or your children. If you have little ones for me, it would be my granddaughter. So these are something you can do as a family. And I love family crafting. So you guys, here is the final reveal of everything I've made for you today. I hope you have enjoyed this content. I truly have enjoyed being here with you. Let me know what you think. Let me know which ones you might consider recreating. As always, it's always a joy and a blessing to have you here. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing some of your time with me. Don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up that lets YouTube know you're enjoying it. They push me out a little bit more so other people can enjoy it and it helps my channel grow. I'm always thankful to you guys for that. As always, be blessed, stay safe, and until I see you in my next one, craft something beautiful today, you guys. Bye.